everybody this is Lakeisha coming to you from hair transfer you and I'm coming to you again because um I lost the beginning part of the video so I had to record it over that's why I'm in my room anyway this video is going to be about the Revlon uh, photo ready airbrush mousse makeup cut off do you know that they only had two of these left and in ginger? Okay, this is a rich ginger. And so I went ahead and got it because I wore rich ginger before um, in the other photo already. I have it on now, which I didn't have it on since um, around three, since about three in the afternoon. And Y'all, I love this. Now, I haven't compared it to the Maybelline because I have not found it yet, but I am going to look for it tomorrow and see uh, which one I'm just going like. to show you so, the how it comes you know, out. What it looks like on my hand. It's just a phone. And at first I was like, okay, this is not my color. Okay. And after you let it just sit a little bit, a little while, it gets darker. Okay. And I went in with my, uh, at first I used my uh, MAC 107 brush and it just wasn't getting it. It wasn't getting the job done. So I took my Sonia Cache brush. <clears throat> Got this from Target a long time ago. I forgot how much it was. This, you would want to, I'm just going to put it on my chin because I already have it. Well, I have it all on my chin, but just to show you guys. So you just want to probably stipple it on your face. And, or if you have you know, one of those Hollywood sponges, um, I had one, but I used it so much I threw it away because I don't want to keep using it because you can't wash it. Um, and you just want to, you know, make sure you go in circles. Because this is some, something, a foundation you don't want just, you know, sitting on your face. I went on that pump. Okay. I don't know if y'all can really see the difference. Or not. Um, me personally, I always been a fan of um, photo ready. A lot of people don't like the photo ready because of the sh um, the shimmers in it. I'm gonna say it it does have shimmer in it, but it don't have as much as the uh, the one in the bottle, as you can see. And uh, if you can, I don't know if you can tell my face or not. It actually, this one like actually give you like a, a, a the other one give you a dewy look too, but this one give you a dewy look kind of without the um, not as much uh, shimmers. And you guys that want to know what foundation I had on uh, the night of. Um, New Year's. It was actually my NARS. It's dirty. And um, I am this medium to dark. And I K D A C A D I Z. That's my color. And um, these are so much similar. I know they look different in the bottle, but when I put them on, they are like, this is like more lighter and more of a glow, where this one is not glowing so much. I don't know how to explain it. It's kind of, it's kind of dewy, but it's not that much dewy. Um, this one's going to give you more, NARS is going to give you more of a, um, a glow look. This one is giving me more of a, a dewy, uh, 
a dewy, like, dang, her face is flawless, you know? That's that's what I'm getting from this. So this was like forty something dollars versus this was fourteen at a uh, Walgreens. It's probably cheaper at Walmart. Um. So yeah, I just want to share this with you guys. Um. I'm loving it, and I'm not a fan of foundation. You guys know that, but it's not heavy on my face. It's not itching. It's not doing none of that. Um. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little review. And again, I found it at Walgreens. You can probably find it cheaper at Walmart or, or your CVS or somewhere cheaper. But I did pay $14.99 for it. I'm going to go look for the Maybelline tomorrow and um, come back and tell you which one I like best. Alright, um, I'm going to try to do a little bit of photos at the end so you can see it on my skin. Uh, the way it comes off on camera. Alright, Diamonds, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another video. Bye.